Hey, it's Chris. Hey, it's Jen. And we are here for a couple different reasons. We're going to try some new food and uh, we're going to finish with the Fantasmic Dining Package at Rancho del Zocalo. How very exciting. Yeah, so we'll take you through the whole thing, show you what we like, what we didn't like, and uh, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Also, happy first day of Pride for everybody. Let's go. The farmland chicken salad has a chimichurri marinated chicken, roasted sweet corn, poblano peppers and tomatoes, uh, blackberries, and is served with an apricot citrus vinaigrette. All right, let's try this salad. It looks really good. We tried a little bit of the dressing ahead of time. These flavors are so refreshing. The lime flavor is very strong. If you're not into that, you're probably not gonna like this, but if you do like lime, this tastes really good. The uh, elote stuff, the pico de gallo, um, I like generally with everything. Then that's perfect on here. Um, I haven't had a blackberry. It's a really good salad. I actually like that better than the taco salad from Pim's. There's a lot of new salads this season. Um, I would go for this one over others. That's really good. Great balance between sweet and savory and citrusy. Like really fresh feel with the tomatoes and the corn. Yeah, overall that's a great salad. Right, I'm one of those people that have to get like an all-inclusive bite of all the things. It's very good. Like Chris said, it's like refreshing, like especially when it gets hot and you don't want something that's going to sit heavy. This is going to be perfect for those days because you still get like the filling from the chicken. You got that protein in here. Plus you have like the spice, so you have a little bit of heat, so there's flavor to it. It's not a boring salad. I would definitely get this again. It's good. I'm going to eat all of this. The street cell Elote Burger is a third pound burger with roasted sweet corn, poblano peppers, queso fresco, chile lime sauce, and avocado smash with fries or cuties. All right, I think this is the piece de resistance for this restaurant. This is the Elote Burger. It looks very difficult to pick up. The bottom bun is very soggy on this side. Oh, it's because there's a lot of that mayo there. Mm. It's an all beef patty, and you can definitely tell. That's really good. The amount of avocado that's in there, that's delicious. There's spice, a lot of cumin. I like that. Um, I think ideally I would like maybe a bit of char on this patty. That's not something you normally get from any Disneyland burger. Um, I think this is about as good as Disneyland burgers get. Um, it's great. The corn is sweet. The patty is savory. You've got avocado that's rich. You've got cotija cheese and this uh, smoky chipotle sauce. And that's a really well-composed burger. Yeah, it's delicious. It's just a mess to eat. That's the only problem. If this was wrapped in paper, it would help a little bit, but it's whatever. I'm going to eat. Okay, so here's hoping I don't make a mess when I take this bite, but there's no guarantee. That is so good. Messy, but good. Oh, 
Yeah, all the things that Chris just said. Repeat. Rinse, repeat. Yep. Double it. Wrap it up. Ship it. Eat it. Do all the things. So good. If I had to choose between this burger and this salad, um, as far as like flavor profiles go, the burger wins it hands down. The watermelon lemonade is served over ice and is topped with lemon flavor filled popping boba. Alright. Watermelon lemonade sounds like a good summer drink. It's got popping boba. Very sweet. Even sweeter with the popping boba. Just an explosion of sugar. It is, you know, their standard lemonade. Extra watermelon flavored syrup. So it's that candy watermelon flavor, the artificial. And then more of it in the popping boba. Does it taste like a Jolly Rancher? Yes, that is the exact watermelon flavor. Which if you like that, that's great. It's very sweet. Um, be prepared for that. I will probably water this down a bit and it'll be I think perfect yeah it's not bad I didn't know that this came with popping boba so I was like wondering why Chris got the ginormous straw well if you ever want a liquid Jolly Rancher in your mouth that's the way to do it also make a mess at the same time Oh, yep. All Jolly Rancher. No lemonade. That's what that tastes like. It, it tastes like liquid Jolly Rancher. This definitely needs some water to cut some of that very strong sugar. But it's still good. But it's just very sweet. You guys want to have a droid race? That's what I like to do. Okay, okay, okay. Let's start over here. With the Fantasmic Dining Package at Rancho Del Zocalo, it is $35 per person for adults. Each entree is served with a radish slaw, cilantro lime rice, potato salad, refried beans, a dessert, and a choice of fountain beverage, or coffee or tea or hot cocoa. The entrees include a chili verde riblets uh, plate with a spicy tomatillo salsa, potato tacos with picante aioli and guacatillo, a sweet and savory carne asada marinated, which is marinated short rib, and the dessert is a cortadillo cake, which is jam-filled pan dulce with vanilla frosting and rainbow sprinkles. Okay, I'm really excited. Uh, this is kind of a first for Rancho del Zocalo. It has always been a quick service place, and this is a quick service meal technically but they've never done anything like this where it's a little bit higher like more upscale um 
dining package. Um, it looks good. It looks really good. This chile verde pork seems so interesting with this like cilantro salad on top. Here we go. I haven't squeezed any lime on it yet because I want to taste it. I'm not really big on cilantro, but that salad's really good. Pork, super tender. I love that. Oh, great chilo verde taste. But this is kind of like, almost like kimchi uh, cilantro on top. Like, there's definitely gochujang. Oh, that's good. Let's try the rice and beans. The rice is kind of flavorless. Beans, that's the normal Rancho del Zocalo beans, they're good. But this uh, cilantro lime rice is kind of meh. This potato salad is really good. And that's such a like Korean barbecue thing, they give potato salad as a side. Giving potato salad as a side on this dish is such a clever idea because it's light, it's sweet, um, it's a good flavor counterpoint to everything else on the plate. That's really good. Oh, there's actual bone in this. Like, I'm hitting actual bone. So be prepared. Flavor-wise, it's so good. You got that pork, that just the the pork ribs, short ribs, all together. So good, and it's not like oh, I know I say this often. There's a difference between spicy for the sake of like heat, and then there's spicy for flavor. You get spicy for flavor. It's not like overly hot. It's not. Seriously, it's really good. Right. Try this rice here. Kind of whatever. If you like bland, you'll like it. flavors. It's it's a nice like palate cleanser essentially. But it's really good. Overall very happy with how this turned out. I know that I like my beef with uh wool and lime. Okay. Mm. That's amazing. You see this beef grilling inside, and that's exactly what you get. That's so good. It is like Korean short rib marinade, um, but that grill flavor is so perfect. There's a light char on there, tender, because it's so, it's like a flank steak cut. Um, it's super tender, like it stays tender so good. Uh, between this and the riblets, I would say I would prefer the beef, but honestly both of them have been really, really good. Let's uh, try it with these a uh, little bit of pickles. Oh, that's not. That was a bit of fat. Um, oh yes, 
if you eat meat, like that's, I have a hard time believing that's not the way to go. This has got to be it. That's so delicious. So beefy and so tender and so flavorful. You know, it is sweet and it's smoky. And um, there's a slight bit of like vinegariness. Like all the great things that you enjoy about like a Korean um, grilled short rib. This steak has it. Like that's so good. And we get to see Fantasmic later too. That's great. All right, now we got the beef. Where's the beef? It's going in my mouth. It's got a nice char on it. It's like grilled, so you got that like grilled char. It's so good, that adds a lot of flavor to it. It's nice and beefy, like it's, it's seriously so good. I would get this again because it's that good. If they just did this, game over. We would eat here all the time. It's so good. We're gonna literally fight over who's eating this one. All right, we wanted to see how this vegetarian option is. The uh, potato taco, the, uh, you know, yeah. taco de papa. Mmm, good crunch on it. You know, honestly, that's a great potato taco. If they made potato tacos like this year round, regularly at Rancho del Zocalo, I think vegetarians would be very happy. Because that's delicious. You know, with the sauces on top, the orange one, chipotle, smoky, a little bit sweet. The green one's an avocado. You throw in that kind of gochujang cilantro on top, that tastes amazing. You add the lime juice squeeze on top of that, and it's even better. It's awesome. I'm so glad that this is an option for vegetarians. The only thing that I could think of if you don't enjoy this is if you don't like spice, um, you might want to ask for maybe no, uh, maybe no, um, Chipotle sauce. But otherwise, like, that's a pretty great dish. I was afraid that you were gonna eat the whole taco and it was gonna leave me with leno. I don't know what I was expecting when I hear potato taco, but it definitely wasn't this. It's so good. And I think there's also like, maybe some like, jalapenos or something in here yes. as well. Yes, it's definitely seasoned. Yeah, so it's really good. And you got a nice crunch from the outside of being a fried taco. Which in all honesty is how a taco should be. It's got a lot of flavor to it. It's really good. And definitely a really good plant-based option for those that, you know, need that but let me tell you if you do not want plant-based and you want some meat in your life that steak is the way to go that steak is the way to go I'm telling you out of the three of these things literally it's the best and the potato salad all right let's try the uh cake it's like white cake with white frosting. It's got jam filling. Mmm. Oh, that's good. It is very similar to um, Mexican cakes like this that I've had outside of here with the jam filling. The jam is really good. Very strong raspberry flavor. 
the cake is white cake. Um, it's almost like angel food cake. And then the, the frosting is just frosting. Um, that's very pleasant. It's a very good recreation of, you know, a very typical Mexican cake and like a very fitting dessert for this meal. Let there be cake. I'm never really a cake person, to be honest. Um, it is a very plain white cake. Um, most of the flavor that you get, I feel, is from the raspberry jam. And it's definitely raspberry. Um, it's not bad. If I had to choose, like, it's a very good cake. But I'd rather have Dole Whip. All right, our final thoughts on the food portion of this package. It's incredible. Even if the rice is kind of flavorless and mushy, it's still an incredible plate of food because the proteins are all so good. The main dishes, I should say, are so good. Uh, because even the potato tacos, absolutely delicious. Um, if I didn't love meat, I would recommend, or I would want to get it again. Uh, but if I do this again, I probably will. Uh, we just made another reservation to do it. Uh, it's gonna be with the steak. For sure. That steak, steak is amazing. Out of the three dishes out of the four that we were able to try tonight, um, the steak by far was the best. If you, and then I looked at the menu, and it's not just plant-based or vegetarian. It is a complete vegan dish when it comes to the potato tacos. Um, so those that are vegan have an option to eat here as well, not just vegetarian. So that is fantastic as far as that is concerned. I can't speak to their beans, but um, if they're not vegan, then I assume they could just not include it. But either way, like those are your options, and it's so good. Like the amount, like we got leftovers that we are taking with us. But we still so ate good. a lot. We still ate a lot, and by we, I mean definitely me. Um, ate a, a lot, a lot. Um, the potato yeah. salad was especially good. It was so good, as far as like how it renders though. Yeah, awesome. I'd say I would do it again. We're going to do it again. In a couple of weeks. Because it was such a great experience. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, what was your favorite part of this whole experience? Let us know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like. If you want to come back for some more Everyday Magic, hit that subscribe button. We'll see you next time. Okay.